today on Special Edition TV. This engine could be an environmental game changer by providing electrical power from existing heat and pressure sources. Welcome to Special Edition TV. I'm Eliana Bravo. Energy and the environment have certainly been in the news lately, especially with issues like pollution and global warming. Solving our energy challenges while maintaining environmental responsibility is a hotly debated issue. But now, heat of a different kind may hold part of the solution to the world's energy crisis. Steve Greenberg reports. For many of us, the first thing we reach for each morning to help energize ourselves is this. A hot cup of coffee. Now, interestingly, there's one aspect of this hot cup of coffee which could help solve the nation's energy crisis. It's not the caffeine, but it is the heat. And this machine unlocks the power. It's a new engine from Power Verde, and it can be powered from either heat or pressure. We're actually taking heat from the sun and uh, converting that heat into uh, mechanical energy and ultimately electricity. Rick Davis is not only an investor in the technology, He's a member of the board of directors for Power Fair Day. I own some real estate down in the Caribbean, and um, you know we make electricity from uh, diesel generators. It's expensive, and, uh, and, it, and it's difficult to acquire the fuel. And I heard about a company that was making electricity um, really out of thin air, out of heat. And I thought there might be some applications uh, down on my island. And uh, you know the, what I learned was if you give Power Verde heat, they can give you electricity. So. In the application down there, we could uh, set up solar collectors and uh, take solar energy from the sun and uh, move it into the heat exchange and, and run this power system simply off solar energy. The underpinnings of the technology go back hundreds of years to the steam engine. The technical term for the engine is a closed Rankine cycle engine, and here's how it works. Water is heated to the point where it turns into steam or vapor that steam will naturally flow to an area with lower vapor pressure. The higher the temperature of the liquid, the stronger the flow of the vapor. If you put a piston in the way, it'll push the piston. In the case of the Power Verde engine, the pressure from the flow of the vapor will turn a turbine. And this can be used to turn a generator and generate electricity. The problem is, to bring water to boil, you need a lot of heat. But what Power Verde has done is they've turned to this device right over here. That's right, a refrigerator. Actually, the refrigerant inside the refrigerator. And what they've done is they've replaced the water in the energy system with refrigerant. Any heat source, including geothermal heat, waste heat from any manufacturing process or any other fossil-driven machine, solar heat, the motor in your car, or uh, any uh, appliance that runs on, on fuel throws off a tremendous amount of wasted heat. What makes the use of any of these heat sources effective is the refrigerant. It has a much lower boiling point than water, so requires less heat to turn it into vapor. So it's much more efficient than water. You could take one drop of a liquid and it, it could create a, a foot of vapor. And ultimately, it's that pressure that makes the engine work. George Conrad is one of the founders of Power Verde and the co-inventor of the engine. If you take a gallon of liquid and you can vaporize that, you can end up with a tremendous amount of pressure, CFM flow uh, and pressure, and that's what we're utilizing to run our system. And that system, the Power Verde engine, is scalable. It can be made large enough to generate 100 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power 10 homes. It can also be scaled down to power a single home or even a refrigerated tractor trailer, all from residual heat sources. There is multiple applications of taking high pressure, turning it into energy. A tractor trailer, uh, let's take a refrigerated one to make a very simple example. Currently, uh, they're going cross country carrying uh, goods. They're keeping them refrigerated. They're running a full-time generator uh, on the diesel fuel in the truck. If you could take the waste heat off that truck's motor uh, that they're running anyways, and they have to run, and you could convert that into a refrigeration process, you completely eliminate or obviate the need for a generator to power the trailer, the refrigerated trailer. According to Answers.com, an average reefer unit, that's the cooling unit on a refrigerated tractor trailer, will burn one gallon of diesel an hour. That's 24 gallons a day, 168 per week, 720 a month, or 8,760 gallons per year. 
With the average price of diesel at about $2.83 per gallon, it costs close to $25,000 per year in fuel costs alone to keep a refrigerated trailer cool. With a Power Verde engine generating power to cool the trailer, charge the batteries, and power the cab at night, a trucker could save close to $25,000 a year. If you have a fleet of, say, 100 trucks, well, you do the math, it's roughly $2.5 million a year in savings. That's a lot of cold cash. Chips is a great application for them. The big yachts, just off of the, the main motors, you can generate the cogeneration power from those main motors to run the, the power supply for a big yacht. This will cut the fuel costs down tremendously, uh, utilizing um, less, less diesel fuel running the, the, the gen sets that power that particular ship. Um, so these, these are things that uh, I think that, that's going to be a very huge application down the road. Another application is with natural gas pipelines. There's 310,000 miles of natural gas pipelines in the United States. Fred Barker is a retired NASA aerospace engineer and the co-founder and inventor of the Power Verde engine. The system's not only 310,000 miles long, it has 17,000 uh, distribution points. And at each one of those points, we can put one of these systems to generate electricity. It works like this. Natural gas travels through the pipelines at extremely high pressure. Pressure too high for any residential gas lines. So at the distribution points, the pressure must be reduced. Traditionally, they've taken that excess pressure and just cranked it down with a mechanical throttling device, which wastes all that energy. So we've come up with a way, and we've patented it, to take that wasted energy, use it, put it back in the stream downstream, and make electricity. And we can, we can do megawatts of electricity that way. All of it without burning a single drop of fossil fuel or admitting any pollutants into the atmosphere. This was an opportunity to really foster technology that, uh, that could conceivably, at the end of the day, uh, take us off of fossil fuel, leave it back in the ground, and make um, free, renewable, green electricity without any uh, waste stream byproducts or carbon emissions. The engine was invented here at Arizona Research and Development, George Conrad's machine shop just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. They have everything in-house to build the engine from the ground up and to modify it for additional applications. George and, and Fred Barker had the ability to literally uh, draft a whole new engine design, uh, put it on a CAD cam, uh, create a computer image of it, go out in the shop and build that motor from the ground up. It's 100% proprietary and it really separates uh, Power Verde from probably 90% of the green competitors. Uh, most companies that are able to do what I've described are your large, you know, Fortune 500 type companies. And to have an entrepreneurial company like Power Verde able to compete at that level and actually manufacture and create this technology is, uh, is really amazing. The starting of uh, my company was to, to create, to create inventions and, and uh, something viable for this world. The Power Verde engine could be part of an overall solution to our energy and environmental challenges. Power Verde is a, is a system that can be put near the grid, that can be put in homes, that can be put where you need the electricity. And uh, it doesn't mean that uh, wind-generated machines uh, don't have a place. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean that photovoltaic doesn't have a place. They all have a place. Like you said on the dinner table, they all play a role to creating that great meal. And I think we're one of the components. For Special Edition TV, I'm Steve Greenberg reporting. That's it for this edition of Special Edition TV. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, I'm Ileana Bravo. Find Power Verde at 623-780-3321 or on the web at powerverdeenergy.com. To reach Special Edition TV, go to specialeditiontv.com. <laughs>